at the end of the production will stay still for uh, for uh, 30 seconds until everything is turned off. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're restarting now. Okay. It's rolling the introduction now. Okay. Good day. I'm Guy Dancaz, and today it gives me pleasure to welcome to Blueprints for Success, Esther Stewart, our newest entrepreneurial intern. Welcome, Esther. Thank you very much, Guy. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Uh, Esther, I understand that uh, uh, you will be, or, or you are producing some uh, designer uh, clothing. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, um, just recently completing my uh, sewing course, I have some ideas that um, for modern day clothing, not just uh, for regalia, we have, um, we have made uh, ladies jackets, a business jacket. We have also jackets for men. We have done, uh, or when I say we, I meant as a class, but uh, I have also been successful in making a baby sweater, uh, designing uh, quilts, quilts, um, anything, anything that you desire we can make. So it's uh, whether it's a sweatshirt or a sweater or a top, um, uh, men's shirts, ties, uh, mittens, hats, yeah, everything is based on uh, custom orders. Okay, we'll come back to uh, you being an entrepreneur in a second, but first I'd like to ask for you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Uh, what's your, um, uh, what's your uh, uh, education? Uh, what, uh, what's your work experience and this type of thing? My name is We Disam Hanakam Skak. I'm Lakskik. Uh, my house is uh, Skinnesim Samagat Sagawen, and I come from Kitkin Kolich. Um, my name in English is Esther Stewart. I am an Eagle tribe. I come from the house of Chief Mountain in the Nishka territory, and I moved from BC to uh, pursue work here in Ottawa, but also to explore more of my dreams for. Uh, my clothing. All right. What makes you want to be an entrepreneur? I was thinking more in the lines of after I'm done my work, uh, I would like something to do. I would like to start doing something that I would look forward to retiring into. Okay. Are there uh, entrepreneurs in your family that can be role models to you? I actually have um, friends um, that have um, al already begun their own uh, line of work and their their successes in in their products. They also have um, they go from weaving to uh, weaving our our cedar bark hats. Uh, we're basically taught to uh, teach others. So if there are others who want to learn. That's what we've been asked upon when we were taught. Okay. Uh, are they uh, selling, uh, your friends, are they selling their goods through the internet or are they selling their, uh, their wear? They're actually self-entrepreneurial. Uh, There's no marketing. They basically go from one event to another. I see. Home. Okay. And so, for instance, uh, this coming weekend we have uh, what we call a hobier. So everybody's in preparation throughout the whole year, and uh, they make all their products uh, 
Uh, sometimes it's for the event or it's to be sold at the event. Okay. When I say it's for, it's um, pieces of new regalia. And it's it's actually grown from a very small um, group to uh, nationwide. Uh, we just had a celebration in Vancouver, BC on the first week of February. And so the actual Hobier is... Um, this coming weekend, where it's uh, about 2,000 people in attendance. Okay. Uh, have you got uh, your own uh, design studio uh, and production studio uh, right now? Yes. Uh, I'm just in the midst of setting it up. I have um, only um, was successful in my move. I've been staying with friends and relatives, um, and my family just joined me January 1st. So I now have my own um, sewing center in my home. Okay. And uh, uh, are you providing services right now? If someone wants to order whatever, uh, uh, can you uh, cater to that order? Yes, I can. Uh, I'm just probably going to pick up more supplies uh, on my travel to BC this weekend. But I know I, I have the majority of supplies here. Okay, and uh, um, are you a, a thinker? What type of thinker are you? Are you a person that thinks outside the box, within the box, with no box? <laughs> Based on my, uh, my, we had a year in our sewing class and my teacher was always frustrated because I was outside the box and outside of the class. Um, I pretty much lived in the sewing classroom um, because my designs were critiqued. For instance, um, one of my uh, designs are, it's a sweater, which I, I saw, uh, what I saw is not what my teacher saw, and she didn't think it was possible to complete. And uh, when I completed it within the timeline, it was... Um, a sweatshirt of my canoe journey mm. and it was an actual map oh. that um, um, from our canoe journey where we stopped so I, I incorporated a map on the back of my sweatshirt with my team with my team lo um, name and our team logo hmm interesting I must have been a very interesting design it was our team name was Simla Silda and mm. there the design itself was, uh, the name was created from our late uncle who passed away. Okay. And it was uh, Lady of the Water. So huh. our team name is uh, Simlach Silda. Good. Well, tell me, how important is setting goals for you? It, it would be extremely important, especially in my, um, in, in my dreams of setting up my business. The goals would have to be um, concrete. Uh, goal setting. It would have to uh, incorporate with the timelines. Okay. Can you give us a couple of examples of goals that you've set in the past and uh, how you've met those challenges? Yes, I actually started something new for myself. Uh, say in 2015, I wrote down on a piece of paper on December 31st, for instance, I wrote down what what I needed to improve in my life. And uh, come 2016, you read that January 1st. And I actually was quite surprised I've met all of those goals. And uh, so I had to pursue that again for this, this move to uh, my first year in Ottawa. Oh, that's great. Great. That's uh, most, most, most people uh, don't accomplish these things. Uh, you write them down and uh, by June, they're forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, what it is, it, it was um, a reading from uh, Anthony Robbins, for instance. Oh, yeah. He asked you to set up five goals for yourself mm -hmm. if you want to improve. Um, so, for instance, I wanted to get my license that year. I wrote that down and I wrote down getting my license. Um, it's just a matter of, um, and then you don't open it throughout the year. Yeah. And uh, come January 1st, when you open it, you see that you have set it as a goal and you cross it off. That. Good. Uh, the only one that was outstanding was uh, learning how to swim. 
<laughs> well, that's a longer goal. Uh, <laughs> the uh, as an entrepreneur, you realize that uh, working sixty, eighty hours a week is uh, not uncommon. Yes. So how do you how do you see that, and how do you? Uh, you've talked about uh, earlier of uh, uh, having a family and grandchildren and so on and so forth. So how do you uh, accomplish what you need to do, work those hours, and then uh, have a life uh, work balance? Well, actually, it was just um, this this past year was uh, one of my first uh, successes in, in multitasking um, because doing my my studying after work you'd go home and you'd study for about four or five hours so when i'm drawing up my uh, entrepreneurship i imagine that that's how long it would take for me to design um if somebody were to come to me today and say i w i need a jacket by by the end of march i would definitely start um an hour or two, ask meeting with them and saying, "What kind of jacket do you just, do you see yourself wearing? What kind of style? And uh, what do you what would you like as a design?" Um, because I also have to remember that coming from the West Coast, the designs are are sometimes not similar, but the the spirit animals are, and it would be based on the artists that can work with clothing. So, how do you deal uh, with the setbacks that uh, hinders your progress? Um, the setbacks would have to be, um, I guess, human, human errors. And the setbacks would have to be uh, something that I, I'm able to manage. If there are setbacks that uh, are... Um, I would be able to seek help in asking other people um, if if I find myself not not meeting a deadline. Okay, but setbacks in general terms or whatever it may be, uh, not necessarily in delivering one order, but uh, just dealing with setbacks. Life is full of setbacks, and how do you uh, how do you deal with them? Uh, um, dealing with setbacks is acknowledgement and communication. Uh, um, what I've learned in my studies is, um, for instance, uh, there was, uh, just to give you one scenario, uh, there was a reading of 300 pages uh, that had to be done in three days and to produce um, an assignment. At the, on the fourth day was very time consuming. It was like what you were talking about, um, a 40 to 80 hours um, bi-weekly. It would be definitely time management. And uh, if there are setbacks in the time management, there would be, um, uh, there would be time to console and, um, and I think acknowledging and communication is the biggest key that would help you to your successes. Because if you're up, if you're communicating with uh, anybody, or for instance, getting ready for a meeting, um, if you're running into setbacks, you you would definitely have to acknowledge that uh, there is a problem. Okay, what tolerance do you have with uh, ambiguity? Um, I would have to ask you to um, define. Uh, well, situations that are neither uh, white or black. No? There would be no. Um, there would be no um, problems for me, um, only because uh, my upbringing, and this is part of my studies that we talked about. It's talk about incorporating your upbringing and the lessons you've learned from your grandparents, your parents, and actually um how do you say incorporating it with the modern world because especially living here in ottawa we have a diversity of um, knowledge and experience one last question what yes. motivates you 
getting up every day and knowing if there's a challenge, I can, um, I'd be happy to pursue uh, any challenges that come my way. And just uh, if people say I can't do it, I say I can. I see. And that's not being, uh, that's not being stubborn, but being determined. Yes, it's persistence and, and knowing. I've been told no a lot of the times, in, in especially in my studies or just in my um, assignments, I've been told no, but uh, it's determination and, and, and knowing that I can do it uh, is my motivation. Well, on, on that, I would like to say thank you, Esther. We were with Esther Stewart, uh, a... Um, an entrepreneurial intern with our Blueprint for Success program. Thank you very kindly, Esther. Thank you, Guy.